right, so we're at the Adafani booth here at NAMM 2016. This is CJ with Sensor Gravity. Heavy Blog is Heavy, and we're talking with Felipe from Angra. How's it going? Yeah. All good. Just enjoying the show. Yep. So are you dem demoing any particular gear? I am actually um, just visiting on, on my sponsors, which Epifun is one of them. So just checking out the new gear, just touching base with all the good friends at, at the companies, you know. Very cool, very cool. Is this uh, your first time at NAM, or have you come? No, it's actually my fifth. Fifth, wow, that's impressive. Um, right on, so what's happening with the band recently? Right now we're getting ready for the Carnival in Brazil, which is going to be big. It's, wow. it's going to be the Carnival in, up in Salvador, and we're going to play over the trucks like they do a full-blown carnival, you know? Oh, wow. It's gonna be the first time a metal band goes in the avenue with like two million people on, people on the street, you know, so. Are you guys going to film it or do a DVD or something? Oh yeah, it's gonna be on the TV all over, yeah. Oh wow, that's, that's awesome. Um, so beyond that show, any other plans kind of coming up? We have a, probably a Holy Land uh, celebration tour coming up. Okay. Wow. Uh, right now, just for Brazil and America, we're trying to figure out other places where we could take it okay. just, just bigger cities in america or any particular or all over usually we do argentina chile colombia venezuela it depends right, right. wow very cool very cool um so describe a little bit about um your your latest album you know, how would you descri describe the sound and, and the natural progression of the band um, since say um the, the the holy lands record well i've been in the band 15 years and this has been a very special record for us because it's another big change in the band with Fabio coming in and Bruno, you know, two different people, two new guys, but at the same time they're not new at all because Fabio, we've known him for, since forever for his work in Rhapsody and other bands. And Bruno has been a friend for many years. We were playing together at Kiko's band, so it all just came together very nicely. and. Uh, the synergy for the record worked out so well, and I think it was one of our best records. Wow, right on. Well, I'm a, I'm a vocalist in my band as well, so how has Fabio sort of taken to adapting to uh, the, the already written parts, and how has he been sort of um, gelling with the band? Apart from being just a great guy, a very relaxed guy, he's a very competent and very talented vocalist. So he handles the duties very well. He has a very uh, big range, powerful voice. Of course, some really high stuff from Andreas' time is, is hard to do, but he manages with his own way. And he's just very consistent. Every show, he sings great, great voice, great character on stage, you know, so. Very, very cool. Um, so next steps for you, like what would be the, what do you want to pursue as far as your playing goes? Is there any techniques or anything that you're really wanting to explore more? It's just an everyday thing, improving on techniques I already do like doing the maintenance for being able to play all the anger music, which is already tough, you know? And just researching new bass players, new techniques, and new gear to help us sound better and, you know, play better. This is an everyday thing. Constantly improving, that's awesome. Well, hey, appreciate the, the interview and taking the time and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, you too. Thanks.